So I found a place for green waste uh, outside my house here. Just same place as scrapyard. Told me six twenty-five for a yard. And if I have clean wood, it's uh, three twenty-five a yard. So based on your load. So if you have a twenty-yard load of material, times six twenty-five or three twenty-five. So. I'm gonna dump it there. I'm just gonna sweep this up here a little bit. It just takes too long to get all that organized, that green waste into bins. Kind of not really worth it. It's okay if you're doing it steady, right? As you as you're cutting it. I left my money here still, see? All that money. So then if I do uh, constru construction site cleanups, it's way cheaper than anywhere else. That would mean a whole bin would only be like, Maybe 70 bucks. Well, it would be 325. So that's a 17 yard bin. Or I'll say 20. Yeah, about 70 bucks. It'd be more competitive than if the prices are cheaper to dumping, right? Because the other guys know where to go. I'm gonna stomp on the load a bit. Try to lower the load a bit so it looks like less in the bin. I just wanna clean this here because the bin will be sitting here. Okay, so I want the bin kind of tucked in the corner here. Oh. Okay, let me get the truck ready. I want to kind of back in the back there so that I could open the door and then work on it. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna kind of drop it around here. Let's try to find something for Walk from my uh, bin. Just so that I could dry it out. Maybe these two work. Hmm. 
So that'd be good if I have a place to dump wood jupe. That makes a big, big difference. Instead of paying the garbage rate at the other place, I'm dumping basically the same location. Just gonna make sure I could open the bin. handles here on these things. That's enough distance there. further up This bin will be dedicated for, for uh, I can't sweep it anyways. Be dedicated for for all this stuff here, steel and tin and all that. Okay, hold on. level it out a bit so it doesn't look as bad full you know it goes by yard that place anyways it's gone down quite a bit already Hey Naz, we gotta do what it takes to save money. Hey buddy, Naz At Atlas from YouTube. Junk removal. I have to grab a ladder because it's hard to get out of this thing, believe it or not. Okay, well that's looks almost like a half a load to me. Might be only ten yards. Just chewing up the ground, it's too soft. One 
Okay, so we'll show you a little video, but not a lot because I don't know the site. But we'll try to get a little bit in there. Okay, stay tuned. So that's the dump I dump here once in a while. Oh, really expensive okay. here. Just driving about, uh, I don't know, maybe 500 feet. It's called Groundworks, but it's behind there. It's another yard behind it. So you turn here, next to containers. And this is going to be for uh, wood waste, clean wood, and tree waste. So I don't know what time they, their hours are. I'm going to find out. But uh, they're behind there and around the corner. Right in the back there. And I guess they grind everything up on site here. But I get ready to back up and then I'll stop filming here just in case they, they don't allow it or something. Okay, we dumped that load. Um, we determined about 11 yards. I told him, he says, What's that 12 yard bit? I said, Oh, it's more like 17. He said, Okay, uh, well, I said, oh, 10. He said, Oh, we'll go 11. I said, Okay. So $70 disposal, gotta love it. So I made 230 that job then, which is a lot, lot nicer. He said uh, they take, the wood has to be clean wood. It can't be plywood or MDF, but real wood, like two by fours and stuff like that. Then that's 325 a yard. This stuff was, I think 650 a yard roughly. Came out to 70 bucks. So that was good. And they told me if I have pallets, pallets are free to dump here I can dump as many pallets as I want no cost well that's even awesome if you clean up a, like a warehouse site or something no problem free well that's really good to know uh, their hours there I'm not sure what name they have there but the hours are from about uh, five oh no from I think eight in the morning to five at night five days a week and a weekend Saturday they may come in in the morning they don't know what time Anywhere from the morning till about maybe two to four o'clock, depending on how busy you are. So not bad, happy with that. So if you if you start learning these right places, dump stuff, you can charge you know appropriately and be competitive. If I'm based on dumping everything on that other site there, the one I normally go to, you know I, I would have paid two hundred dollars to dump that load. So that's what I'm saying. You have to be really careful. You know you'd have to charge more, but then again you probably lose the jobs, right? Okay, sounds good. That's awesome. Happy about that. Now I gotta deal with a uh, mattress box spring, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, the other bin is in place. So I'm gonna maybe clean the stuff out of there and push the water out. Um, I like to paint that, but um, I have to wait for a good day. So I may just have to load it full of junk for now. The weather right now is kind of uh, hit rain. Every other day it's rain now. But I have a tiger torch, you can always torch it, heat it up and, and dry it out, then paint it, but that's an option too, if it's not raining, right? But as long as I have about two or three hours for it to dry, then I'm okay. Okay, we'll keep moving. Okay, I'm gonna throw this. It's actually a pretty heavy trailer, it's not light. There. But I'm gonna take this wood off here, it's kinda rotted. I don't need it anyways. Kinda what I don't need. Okay, I have to go now to Vancouver. Our Burnaby, the sign guy, he's got some shirts for me. 
but I want to change on my other side for my band. I want that cabled. I don't like it looks too wimpy. I want it bold like that. And I want dashes here. Right? I don't want dots here. And I want to maybe take the gold off and make it yellow. Can't see the gold, it looks washed out from a distance. Then the yellow will pop out further. I mean, gold's okay for maybe my van riding traffic, but the other one as a sign, I want it to uh, look great. If you look at the picture here, If you look here, look, you know, it stands out way nicer. But, um, so he's got, uh, see, I just don't know. See that? That's supposed to be the same color as this, but this is gold. So I want, I want to kind of want to have, you know, if it was that gold, that color would be better than this. This looks kind of faded. That's the problem. So, let's say 24K junk removal. I want the K, I want the dashes here. And we'll say cleanups and recycling, demolition, renovation, small moves, deliveries, asbestos testing, free estimates 24-7, and a website. So that's that one. And then the back side is going to be, well, this one's going to be obstructed with the ladder. This one, the ladder will kind of obstruct it a little bit with the moving over touch. Same stuff. And then over here, just the bottom, where it says Tommy Gate, it's going to say Silver Surfer. That's what I'm name it. So all this is coming out, taking the sticker off. Okay, we're gonna go to that there, grab my shirts at least, and we're gonna sort this couple things out. Maybe we could load the bin later if we have time, but we're gonna actually put move the bench over. We're gonna kind of set up a station where it stays there all the time and not gonna be moving it. So the station will be on this side. I'll put one of those uh tents, those pop-up type awning type things, pop-ups that like an umbrella type. And I'll have there on this side, so I'll be like over here. And then I could be processing stuff. It could go in the bin directly. And then uh, when I get stuff, and this will be clear, so I can back up right here and either take bottles off or take off scrap metal into the bin when that bin's full, it's dumped. So one bin dedicated for tin. That one's for garbage removal, but when that gets repaired, uh, it has it needs two special hooks on the bottom. When that gets done, that will be the main bin here. It's a little smaller. Uh, just better if you say, hey, it's 700 bucks load. This one, you know, like I say, it's bigger, but it's not as clean as that one. It looks a little more nicer when it's clean. Either way, they're both good bins. Uh, and then I'll, I'll give that small bin just for HMS. Half the size of that bin. Half the height-wise. And nobody wants all that, so it's a matter of it next day or so he'll grab it, hopefully. I told him, give me the money first, and then I'll, I'll load him in the bin and I'll take it to him. He's only a few blocks down the road. I don't want to unload it and, and work twice. So this already unloaded one, twice, and now I'm going to unload again. I'm going to have to unload again at his house. Anyways, let's go to that site here and change these things and grab my shirt, okay? Got some cute lamps here, actually. Hmm. They still look like they're in pretty good shape. Not bad. A little bit of staining on the shade, but we'll see. So I ended up uh, uh, getting some t-shirts, charged me $24 each this time, I don't know why. It was ordered five, ended up giving all my shirts away basically. I have a couple, but what happens is if I use it once, I put laundry or it's a laundry basket, <coughs> and then what happens is I don't have another one. So I'm going to have five more for myself, and this way I could uh, just 
new shirt every, every time because when I'm doing junk removal it looks professional to have a nice shirt and they're warming up and they're, they're warming it thick I just noticed uh, 7-Elevens are closing down big time around here it's two already that closed down that I know of that's a shame because they're good for getting you know snacks or coffee or something but I think what happens is the druggies keep stealing too much stuff they can't stay in business that's the problem they get looted heavily and it's just shutting down everywhere which is a bummer because 7-Eleven is actually not bad this way I got a feeling there's something this way there's lots of dead ends around here that's a problem I mean a lot of the yards have junk you can see the junk sitting but not in the alley Yeah, it's tough to get jobs, jumping removal jobs. It's just not not many right now. Which is too bad. Tire. See now we have a school over there. Okay, well keep going. Launch you on the garbage. Aluminum, which is good. Okay, see a table here. Lots of iron on it. Heavy steel. We'll throw it in. Got to feed the bin. Thank mm -hmm. you. 